Is x equal to y? Well, that's a simple enough question. Uh, the statements unfortunately have fractions, but we could just zoom in by a factor of 3 for statement 1 and by a factor of 4 for statement 2, and that should make our life a lot easier. So with statement 1 zooming in by a factor of 3, we get 2x minus y equals 1. And with statement 2 zooming in by a factor of 4, we get x minus y equals 0. So let's explore this further right after this. We should probably start with statement 2 because if x minus y equals 0, then x must be equal to y. You can just add y to both sides of the equation and we get it x equals y and that's what the question was asking. So statement 2 is sufficient on its own and we can go ahead and eliminate ACE. Statement 1 on its own, 2x minus y equals 1, are x and y equal to one another? I have no idea. All I can say is that 2x is one unit to the right of y on the number line, uh, but where's x on that number line? It could sit right at the same spot as y, but it could be really anywhere else. So statement 1 is not sufficient on its own, and the correct answer is b. If you like this approach, be sure to check out my book. It's all in there. What do you want me to talk about in my next video? Type it down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video just for you. Make sure you're subscribed and click that little bell icon below so you don't miss any future videos. See you next time!